Hey everybody, Ryan Gronfin here, author, speaker, chef, restaurant tour, and founder of therestaurantboss.com, clickbacon.com, and scalemyrestaurant.com. Now normally when I film my blog videos, I'm all formal and I set up my camera and I stand here behind this wall and I make sure that it's framed perfectly, but I was rehearsing for this video about to set up my office and I just it's just running through me right now. Like this is something I'm so passionate about. So I just decided to just grab the selfie stick and film. You can even see my thumb there, hello. Uh, and you're getting a behind the scenes look in my office. But is the restaurant business hard? You know, I get this question all the time. And people tell me it's just so hard, it's just so hard. But you know what? What I believe about the restaurant business is it's not really that hard. What makes it hard is doing a hundred or even a thousand easy things well every day. Now, let me explain. But first, I want to go back a few steps. When I was operating some restaurants in a partnership about 12, 13 years ago, uh, I was a partner and I was operating four restaurants. At the time I had three open and I got rushed to the emergency room one night because of what I found out to be were ulcers, acid that had built up in my body, burnt a hole in my stomach because of the stress struggle and overwhelm of operating restaurants. I was struggling. I thought it was really hard. Previous to that, I had worked in some great restaurants and some great hotels and I was a very successful chef and I thought this was just the next step in my career. This was gonna be easy, but it wasn't. I struggled. And the doctor told me to take two weeks off work, right? That's pretty funny. I had no medical, no paid leave. Like, how was I supposed to take two weeks off work? But I was able to take one day off work. And one day is almost the same as two weeks. Not really. But anyways, I took that one day off and I laid in bed and I started asking myself the question of what's going to be different? What's going to be different tomorrow, uh, the next day, the next week, whatever, so this doesn't keep happening to me? And what I decided at that moment in time was that I needed some help. And I thought back to some Tony Robbins stuff that I had done and I pulled out my CDs for, I think the program was called Get the Edge, Tony Robbins course. And I went through it again. And what I realized, what he helped me realize was a concept called chunking it down. And chunking it down is basically taking things that are big and overwhelming and difficult and breaking them into their smallest parts and pieces. Like there's an expression, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? And as you break these things down, you start to realize like, hey, what I'm actually doing in the restaurant business isn't that hard. What's making it hard is that I'm trying to do it all at once. I'm trying to look at it all as one thing rather than chunking it down and, and telling myself what I just said earlier, which is the restaurant business isn't really all that hard. What we're doing is not all that hard. We're welcoming guests. We're treating them kindly and with respect. We're cooking them food and giving them drinks and that's about it. It's not really that hard. What makes it hard is doing a hundred easy things well every day. And so it was through the work in courses, in online courses with a coach that I was able to turn those restaurants around. And that really inspired me to the point where when that partnership fell apart in a blaze of glory, it was a beautiful explosion like most partnerships are, and I was stuck jobless, I wanted to consult, I wanted to coach. Because I had learned so much and I had grown so much in my um, career, my, my career at the time of, of operating restaurants that I wanted to help other people do it. And so that's why I've created courses and that's why I've offered coaching. But I couldn't afford to work one-on-one -on -one with Tony Robbins. I think he's like $4 million a year if you wanna work with him. So I went through his courses. So that's why the first thing I did when I started my consulting was create a course, but it's also because of a guy named Brendan Burchard. And when I decided to start consulting, I was getting very overwhelmed by everything I had to do. And what I realized is why am I gonna go through the pain I went through when I started operating a restaurant to go through that pain and make those mistakes only to then realize that I need some help. Why not just start right out day one when I started my coaching and consulting career, go out and find a great coach. And so Brendan Burchard was recommended to me and I couldn't afford to work with Brendan Burchard one-on-one. -on -one. I could barely even afford to go through one of his courses. At the time it was $2,000, but I put it on a credit card and I made the commitment. And that course called Experts Academy really changed my life and it really accelerated my consulting career to the point where now I'm blessed and able to be a full-time, uh, very successful coach and consultant in the restaurant business, helping lots of restaurant owners all over the world. It's amazing and I'm so blessed to be able to do it. But again, 
I believe I was able to do it because of the, the things I learned going through Tony Robbins courses and then the things I learned going through Brendan Burchard courses of, okay, you wanna be a coach, you wanna be a consultant, here's what you need to do. Go do this, go do this, go do this. And while you're doing this, break that down into these little things and do this, then do this, then do this. Like a website, okay, fine, I need a website. What goes on my website? Well, Brendan Burchard told me, there's seven pages that you need on an expert website. That's what it's called, the expert industry. So I built those seven pages. That wasn't all that hard. And even when I needed to learn how to build web pages, I took courses for that. So this idea of courses and coaches isn't really all that strange or that odd, yet for some reason, one of the most important things in our life, like our career, we don't think to hire coaches for. We hire coaches and go through courses if we wanted to get better at golf, if we wanted to get better at piano, like taking a piano course online, that's not weird. Taking a, a guitar course online, that's not weird. But your restaurant, the thing that provides you the money for your family and to put a roof over your head and to allow you to take the golf and the piano lessons and for your kids, why don't we go through courses and learn there? So the point of today's video is, is the restaurant business hard? Yeah, if you do it the hard way, it's hard. If you do it the easy way, I don't think it's that hard. I think if you talk to a restaurant owner today who's struggling, they're gonna tell you it's hard. I talk to restaurant owners who are crushing it, I'm fortunate enough to work with them, opening up their fourth, fifth, seventh, eighth, tenth restaurant, and to them, it's not that hard. But it's not that hard because they've learned how to do it right. They've gotten coaching, they've gone through courses, they've, they've learned along the way, they've read books. So anyways, I just wanted to kind of off the cuff, no script, just passion here, put this video out for you about the impact courses had on my life, which is why I have taken the time to create courses and put them out for you. And the last thing I wanna say here, and I think you'll see a video at the end of this about it is, we've recently created something called the Restaurant Boss Membership. And in the Restaurant Boss Membership, you get access to all of my coaching, or I'm sorry, all of my courses, uh, scale, restaurant manager certification, ghost kitchen bootcamp. We have a new course coming out. By the time you're watching this, it might already be out called Hired. And we're gonna create new courses, a couple of them a year to make sure that there's always fresh content out there for you. But also if you're in the Restaurant Boss membership, you'll have the ability to jump into coaching with me weekly called Rocket Fuel Coaching. That's only available for members. There'll be more about that after this video here or below it or in a card up there. But either way, if you're not exactly where you wanna be, if you're doing well and you wanna do better, if you're struggling a little bit and you know you're close and you just need a little bit of help, consider going through some courses. Consider getting some training and getting some help here. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's awesome. It's been amazing for my life and people that I've uh, had the privilege of coaching and people that have gone through our courses to see the changes in their life. It's just been awesome. So, all right, everybody, this is Ryan Gronfin here with The Restaurant Boss, wishing you an absolutely amazing day. And remember, systems create freedom, freedom creates value, and value creates scale. Bye-bye. If you want to learn to play the guitar, you'd hire a coach. If you want to learn to swing a golf club, you'd hire a coach. A great coach helps you achieve your goals faster. So why would you try to grow your restaurant without a coach? Getting access to our top quality training was financially out of reach for many restaurants until now. The Restaurant Boss membership gives you access to all of the training, resources, coaching, and webinars you need to properly increase your profits, improve your operations, and grow for less than a cup of coffee a day. Plus, when you join our membership program, you can work with me weekly. We call it Rocket Fuel, and I bet you can guess why. Are you ready to create real change in your restaurant? Join the Restaurant Boss family today. I hope you enjoyed this week's training video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, would you go ahead and smash the like button right up there so you can get notified every week when we release a new free training video. I've also gone ahead and put a couple of videos for you here and here that I think you're going to enjoy. Remember, systems create freedom. Freedom creates value and value creates scale. Manage systems, develop people, and be awesome.